Excellent. Yeah, I feel that really a lot of tension right there. Good. Okay, Marisol, so you have pain point where you have it? Right here. So up in this area here. Yeah. Okay, so we, any other places? Um, and then just mid cervical, like right in that Mid-back lower. area, lower? Yeah. Okay, so we took x-rays, you can see how there's, there's quite a kink right in that upper back. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna definitely address that. We took um, pictures, you can see your pelvis a little bit uneven. Mm -hmm. We have lower back because you, with your work, since you're a chiropractic intern, you do a lot of bending and all this, all the sitting too. Yeah. It tends to flatten out the curve, so this this should be more like a 36 degree. Sometimes you start working on that curve, things like the this dental type of block that we can put in here to help you establish that curve. Uh, also, we're going to get this. You have a slight curve in there but still it's kind of st stuck in that lower part so we'll probably use either this medium dental block or we can just use this pool noodle or we put PVC piping in the middle of tape because this is much more the way it's cut it's going to be a little more intense as it pushes in on that to change the curve so what we'll do is probably this will be easier at first and then transition into the to the dental okay. uh, but what we need to do so we're going to adjust that. We're going to take care of, free up any of the bones that are out of alignment here. And then uh, we're just set these blocks on you to show you how to use them, okay? okay. All right, so let's go to the next room. face down and the one below it. Turn this way. Yeah, feel that really a lot of tension right there. Good, excellent. Nice tone change right there. And we have the where the pelvis is crooked is short on the one side. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to get this bone moving so you get a good nerve supply down the legs. So line this side, face me. Excellent. Let's go face down again. Now we're just going to work with the drop, some of that curve. So you're going to push with your hands push up like you're on a surfboard, lift your chest up, chin level, we're going to come right in here. Good, now face down. Now she has a couple areas out in this upper area, so line your back. Cervicals are pretty darn stiff on you. Yeah. yeah. So, right there. Good. Nice. Nice. So, I'm going to start off with this one, the easiest one. You just put this right. Go ahead and let your head drop down. This is go right over there so you can start reestablishing that curve. So, you want to Start off with a couple minutes, uh, go about two to three minutes, work your way up about a minute each day until you get to 20 minutes once you're comfortably doing that. Then uh, uh, we can start adding this other one in there. Now, and we can actually add the, the bigger block here to add more force into it. 
Now, the other thing we want you to do is we want you to, you want to start working a little bit of that forehead posture and open up the chest. So I'm going to have you bring your arms up here. You're going to press your elbows out. You're going to press your head into that. Feel that? So as you go back this way, there's going to be more force going in here. And you want to just hold that, contract back for about 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, relax. And you just want to keep repeating that for about six times throughout this session. Okay. And then uh, those, once you finish the six times, then you can relax for the rest of the 20 minutes okay. as that uh, spine starts stretching right over it. So it's basically going to unwind the anterior longitudinal ligament to allow that to mold to the new position. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, when we put this low back, back block on, we're going to go a little more. It's going to go right at the belly button. So we're going to slide this out for now. You're going to lift up your rear end. It's going to slide right underneath. It's going to go in this position. Just relax. And then you want to bend your knees on this one. Now see how your rear end doesn't even touch the ground? That's how inflexible that is. Yeah, so it's going to be harder. Okay. It's much more stiffer. because So you want to go a little easier on, as you're working up on this. And you can do them both. Uh, we're going to start off the neck, and then once you get used to the neck, we're going to add into the low back, and then you can do both of them at the same time. Okay? Yeah. All right. So it's going to lift that up. Did a great job.